What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to be bringing you guys a weakness policy Solgaleo team for Regulation G. Now Solgaleo, the box art legendary from Pokemon Sun, is here in Regulation G. And this Pokemon is really strong, especially with weakness policy. So we're going to be pairing it up with Sandy Shocks to pop Bulldoze, pop that weakness policy, and have this Pokemon hit like a truck. So Galeo has a great ability of full metal body, and then its moveset is phenomenal with Sunseal Strike for stab, Rock Slide, Psychic Fangs for stab, and for taking off screens. Love that move so much. And then last but not least, we have Protect. Like I already mentioned, we have Sandy Shocks with the Booster Energy and Protosynthesis. It's got Thunderbolt, Bulldoze like we already mentioned, Protect, and Earth Power for some big time stab damage. Our other four Pokemon on today's team going to be featuring Gouging Fire and Fluttermane, two Protosynthesis Pokemon. And furthermore, we have Galarian Moltres, and on top of that, we got Wellspring Overpond, which has just been pretty much a staple as of recently in rent teams, right? This Pokemon is just so strong. Can't go wrong with it. It's amazing all around. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right-hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop to our first match showcasing this weakness policy, Solgaleo team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Lunala team. But something I want to do is check out Solgaleo's stats. It's very high on physical attack with 187. Pair that up with weakness policy boost. That thing is going to be out of control. On top of that, it's a pretty bulky Pokemon with mediocre speed. 127 speed, 140 special defense, 128 defense, and 223 HP. God dang Solgaleo. So I definitely kind of want to lead this Pokemon right here. I like its typing. I like it with Sandy Shocks, I could Bulldoze, I could pop the Weakness Policy, slow everybody else down besides Solgaleo, and then start getting after it. So that is going to be my lead there. Um, they do have a little bit of a Trick Roomish side of things with Armors and Ndidi, so we kind of have to watch out for that. And in that case, uh, Gouging Fire could be pretty good. I mean, it's 150 speed, but I just like it's typing here, going up against what they got. It's got that Fire Dragon. We go in with Moltres if, they're, if we're dealing with Psy Spam. Yeah, so I'm going to go Moltres, and I think I'm going to go Gouging Fire. Little bit of Gouging Fire. Yeah, I'm with that. I'm with that. I am a little worried about Urshifu. If that is Dark Urshifu. I'm kind of hoping it's more so Water Urshifu. But is Dark Urshifu going to be super effective onto my Soul Galeo? And we don't want that. We don't, we don't want to deal with that. That's just a big time problem. And if it's Water Urshifu, we can just Terrasalize into Water. Kind of soak up those Surgeon Strikes and get after it that way. But they're going to go Lunala and Indeedee. Now, does Lunala learn Expanding Force? I know it learns Meteor, which is kind of scary. Which is definitely kind of scary. So they can pop Trick Room if they want to. I am just going to pop Weakness Policy. And I'm going to go after this indeed because I don't really want them setting up Trick Room, right? That could be an issue for us. That could definitely be an issue. But what's your typing? It is Psychic and Ghost. I'm kind of scared of like Expanding Force on Lunala. Let's be real here. I am scared of that. But I'm just going to go for a Sunseal Strike into Indeedy. And I'm just gonna pop with this policy all around. Lunala looks like it's flying, but it's not. But he's just gonna end up going for follow me, which is fine. I don't I don't mind that too much. I don't mind that too much. Unless Lunala's pop the trick room, which I believe it learns. I mean you're a psychic type. I would think you would learn it. We're gonna pop weakness policy right here. We are getting after. We are getting after. The speed's gonna drop onto Lunala. Hoping Lunala's attacking us with like a meteor beam or something. But Sunseal Strike on a fly here with weakness policy pop. Should probably just dump on NDD, correct? Yep, get it on out of here. So Sokaleo off to a hot start. We're really hoping they're not popping trigger. I don't even know if Lunala learns trigger. And it does. Okay, there's my answer. Answering my question. So Lunala with Trick Room could follow me to pop out here. I thought NDD would be the one to actually pop Trick Room, but they've made a smart call. So from here, I can see them going straight into Arm Rouge, and if they do, we might just want to swap our Sandy Shocks into a Dark type. The Expanded Force is just screaming at me, right? Yeah, Arm Rouge is going to come out here, and who do we attack here? That's the real question, because I'm going to Terrasalize you. I definitely want to Terrasalize you. I could go into Rock Slide. I could go into Sunseal Strike. But I'm thinking of just going Rock Slide here. Sunseal Strike's not going to be bad, because, you know, I can just go up for the and try to take that out. But Arm Rouge is looking scary with that, uh... With the expanded force. But the reason I want to rationalize water is just in case the armor cannon is flying through here. Oh man, this could be tough, but I definitely want to swap into. Did I just protect Sokaleo this turn? And just Saber Terror type? Yeah, we're just going to protect Sokaleo here. 
And I'm just gonna protect Sandy Shocks. Let's waste a turn out of Trick Room, actually. Let's waste a full turn out of Trick Room. That's actually better on our end. So we'll double protect. I think I might Terrasalize it next turn, depending on what's gonna be. But we'll read out what they're, what they're trying to do here. And it's gonna be a Moon Guy Spin, which is looking terrifying. That's looking a bit too scary. And are you going for Expanded Force as well? Yeah, that's not looking good. We don't, we don't, we don't like that. We don't like that. We, we just don't like that. Moon Guy's Beam alongside with Expanded Force. Not looking good. Not looking good. But I'm going to go for Terra Rock Slide here. And I'm just going to swap into my Moltres here. Nice little Dark type. We can save our Sandy Shocks for the back end. We can waste out some uh, Trick Room turns. Try to get after it that way. But they're in a solid position where we have to play very defensively. All right. I'm in for it. I'm all game. I'm all game. Here comes the Water Terra. Hopefully they switch to Armor Cannon here. That'd be awesome. Let's go for an Armor Cannon. This is just like a nice Terra type because honestly, Moon Guys Beam would have been super effective into us. Um, Armor Cannon as well. Expanded Force can probably still chunk up damage. It's getting a little scary. There's the Moon Guys Beam. Moon Guys Beam. They might be able to take out my Sogaleo with this and Expanded Force. It's sure looking like it. I'll tell you that much. There's Expanded Force. Sogaleo, eat this up. Eat this up. I don't think you eat this up, but eat it up. Eat it up. You eat it up. Yo, I love this Pokemon. Rock Slide connecting with the weakness policy. Big time damage on the armors. Weakness policy gonna pop here. Or not weakness policy, weak armor. Actually boosting his speed and trick. And honestly, let's just protect you. And then just go into Fiery Wrath. I'm cool with that. Protect you, go for a Fiery Wrath. Waste out these turns. Just gotta waste out these turns. Hopefully going for another Moon Guy Beam into that slot. You end up going for a Wide Guard, which is rather smart. Rather smart, but I think you would go after Sogaleo here. No, oh, you're Meteor Beaming me, so I'm gone. I'm gone here. I'm a deader. I'm dead. But again, wasting out Trick Room turns rather well here. Rather decent. But Moltres is a goner. See you later, Moltres. Get it on out of here. <laughs> Meteor Beam yelled. Dude, that was really good. I didn't even realize we have a Sun and Moon battle here. It's awesome. I just realized that. I just realized that. But now we have to go into somebody with protect. Um, we go Sandy Shocks here. Or do I go into you? Would be better. I mean, you got Earth Power. We have to deal with Lunala. Um, I think we're just gonna go into Sandy Shocks here. I think there's one turn left in Trick Room. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. So we're gonna have to sacrifice our Sogaleo here. Right? One turn left in Trick Room. Yep. One last turn, and we're just going to go for double protect. We might as well go for it. We might as well, because if not, we're dead. So I'm just going to go for definitely protect on Sandy Shocks. And don't you dare tell me they got Trick Room. Double Trick Room. I get, yo, this could be bad. This could be a good play for them. If he goes Trick Room, Trick Room, and cancels out the initial Trick Room, and then sets up a whole other five turns. If they do that, they deserve this win all day. That's just such a good play. I pulled that off a couple of times, but we're really hoping they're just not thinking about that right let's see and i land a double protect which is awesome so this could be a big time play for us if they're not popping double trick room cool they're not awesome we love it so double protect comes in clutch we got full power now he could go for a wide guard so we have to watch out for that so to be honest we are just going to go for a sun seal strike into nala and go into a thunderbolt into armor yeah that's our best bet because again, I'm not going to go for a rock slide double hitting move and risk them going for white guard here. So, Sun Seal Strike, nice big time stab damage, base 100. Base 100. And then we will just rock a nice, lovely Thunderbolt into the slot. Nice, lovely Thunderbolt. So, I'm hoping Sun Seal Strike can KO. Kind of need it to KO. We need it to KO, because if not, they set up another trick room. Honestly, Armourish could be faster. Let me be honest. Okay, it goes for wide guard anyway. I was gonna say, let me be honest. That thing does have a speed boost from weak armor. But honestly, it's probably not faster than Sandy Shock. Sandy Shock's a quick little booger. But there we go. Arm Rouge gone. We read the wide guard too. Sun Shield Strike. Can you finish this, this off? Can you make this easy for my life? You're still weakness policy boosted. You're still weakness policy boosted. This move looks so cool. This move looks so cool. And it does finish it off. So, Pokemon Sun. Killing Pokemon Moon right there. Honestly, I had Pokemon Moon. I did have Moon. I was a Moon guy. I was a Moon guy. But still, I like Solgaleo. Urshfu's gonna come out here as their final Pokemon. We got Sandy Shocks on the field. We got Solgaleo. I'm just gonna pop a nice little Thunderbolt and the Psychic Fangs. And Urshfu has no double hitting moves. He's gonna Terrastalize here. 
Nice big terror type coming out and about. Let's see what they got cooking here. It is going to be straight water. The Thunderbolt Psychic Bang should at least do half. Maybe even KO. Again, we're weak this policy boosted. We do so much damage. So Aqua Jet's gonna fly here. And is this gonna KO you? This might KO you. It doesn't. Okay, now that's game. Game set match. Get this thing on out my face. The Thunderbolt brings this thing down to the red. We got Psychic Fangs following through. Night Night Earth Shoot. Match number one, very, very solid. We have to play defensively to waste out the trick room to grab ourselves that win. Moving on to our second match, and we're going up against is this Kiram again? Or no, it's Reshiram. We're going up against a Reshiram team. Nice little Reshiram. I haven't used this Pokemon yet or seen it, so this should be fun. I know it's a fire dragon type, and it has a nice signature move that hits rather hard. It might just be Sacred Fire, to be honest. But I believe it has a signature move. But they got a pretty strong squad. They got Incineroar. They could lead it. And honestly, Sokaleo Sandy Shocks gonna be great here because uh, Full Metal Body, I believe, stops Intimidate as well. All stat changes. Yeah, prevents other Pokemon's moves or abilities from lowering Pokemon stats. Love it so much. So pairing that up with Sandy Shocks can be really good for us. So I'm gonna go into both of them. Um, in the back end, we do have to worry about a little bit of King Gambit action. I don't really like that. I kinda, not gonna lie, like Gouging Fire here. Gouging Fire is pretty solid. I like its typing more so than anything. So I'm gonna go Gouging Fire. And last but not least, did we just go Ogre Pond? I think Ogre Pond you can't go wrong with. Yeah, Ogre Pond. It's gonna be neutral up against a lot, but on top of that, they have Ogre Pond as well. So if they're gonna go into, say, a water move, Ivy Cudgel, we can always just swap into that, get that water absorbed, maybe get some HP back at the same time. And kinda go from there. But yeah, first match went to us. We dominated with Sokaleo. Actually, a very solid match. We had to play defensively due to that trick room and they're gonna send out here Reshiram and what is this Pokemon again iron what iron jugulus so I know this thing does learn uh tailwind and it is gonna boost your energy here it's probably just gonna boost speed and look to go for tailwind here yeah so it's gonna do that um we got booster energy as well which is awesome which is really good for us I could pop weakness policy but to be honest I I think I'd rather just terrestrialize here and maybe just pop a rock slide. I think going into water terror is our best bet. Because again, if I'm correct, you're fire. Yeah, you're fire dragon. So yeah, that's our best bet here. And then at this point, we could go earth power into Ram Because they're going to get off tailwind regardless, right? Or I could just go thunderbolt and look to just rip in this thing. Yeah, I'm actually cool with that. I'm actually cool with that. So we're going to go rock slide. We are going to go for a nice, lovely thunderbolt. And they're going to terrestrialize turn one here. It's going to be the jugs. So jugs is going to terrestrialize into ghosts. He's gonna get cooking with ghosts here. Um, I mean, that's fine. No big deal. And I'm gonna trash slice here as well. I'm not playing around. I'm not playing around. Nice little water tower. Because again, big time fire move comes in into Sogaleo. It's a problem. We could have maybe tried to soak it to pop weakness policy, but with Reshiram's high special attack, it's, it, it was just not, I just don't think we, we would be able to survive it. So we just ends up protecting Reshiram, which is no big deal. I mean, I am technically doubling down into this slot here. And this thing does get off its tail. Yeah, that's fair. That is fair. Thunderbolt gonna connect. It is going to almost half it. And Rock Side. Gonna hit it, please. Get off a little bit of damage. We do chunk up some damage with a crit. We love a crit. We love a big time crit. But from here, um, I think I'm just gonna go for another Rock Side and just follow through with Earth Power into this slot. I mean, Jugs is okay. It's not, like, crazy strong. I think Reshiram's just a bigger threat. And now it's an even massive threat with Dragon Cheer ready to go. So he's going to Dragon Cheer the Reshiram. It's crit. It's going to go through the roof. And on top of that, it could probably just go for Draco Meteor. And luckily, we outspeed. So Sandy Shock's coming in hot here with some big-time damage. Outspeed and Reshiram, who goes for Earth Power here. And I die out to that because that's a crit, right? That is a crit. So we die out to that. Sogaleo looking to pick up some KOs here. Rockside is going to double connect. And it almost, almost KOs. Almost. All right. Um, From here. I don't know how to play this one. From here, we we're probably best bet would be just going to Ogre Pond here. And you probably have Air Slash, though. Oh, man. That's my best bet. Maybe Burning Bulwark here and just have Sogaleo drop another rock slide. That might be your best bet. I could try to waste out Tailwind turns. How many turns are left in Tailwind? Two. Um, 
I think we just go for Rockside here, and then we just go for Burning Bulwark. Or I could double down with Breaking Swipe. That's an option. Then just protect and waste out the last turn of uh, Tailwind. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to double down with these moves. I am double down. Even though I know you can Earth Power. I know you can Earth Power. Maybe we should have just went for Burning Bulwark. But I, I still kind of like this. I still kind of like this. They're going to go into Ogre Pond. So Burning Bulwark. Are you going to go for Draco Meteor? That's fine. So you're going to KO my Solgaleo. Actually, Solgaleo soaks. He soaks the crit. And that's massive because I get to go for Breaking Swipe. I pick up a KO. Furthermore, I pick up an attack drop on the Ogre Pond, who's a physical attacker. And and we can waste out Tailwind this next turn just by double protecting. I'm so down. I'm so down for double protect. Rock Slide, chunk it up. And we already got you down to half. We love it. We love it. Honestly, our, uh, our Gouging Fire is pretty fast outside of Tailwind. But I ended up throwing out Amoongus. Don't really like you. I do have Heat Crash to deal with you. But again, I'm just double protecting. I'm not I'm not dealing with you just outspeeding me. I'm not. It's just not happening. It's just not happening. It simply is not. But something they could do, which could be a slight issue, is follow me with Ogre Pond and put me to sleep. But I mean, at that point, we would just take out Ogre Pond. And then they just had a Moongus and a low HP Iron Jugulus. So I kind of I like the position we're in. We've been wasting out turns all day today. They end up protecting the Moongus now, so this is great. This is great. The double protect for that Tailwind Waste Out goes for an Ivy Cudgel. We block it up, which is gorgeous. They don't have Terra anymore considering they use it on the Jugs. And now I can just go for a Psychic Fang or Sunset Strike. I'm just going to go for Psychic Fangs into this slot, and I believe Heat Crash should be able to KO the Moongus. I have a little Heat Crash. You're going to actually go for a Horn Leech first. And you get back a little bit of HP. Oh, we don't like that. We do not like that. But I, I need a Moongus going. I can't deal with Spores. I just can't. I can't. So hopefully Heat Crash can pick up the KO. Moongus is a rather bulky. But Heat Crash from Galactic Fire. Man. Man, now I'm going to sleep. Now I'm going to sleep. Come on, man. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. That's why I really want the KO. That's why I really wanted the KO. So now we got our final Pokemon. It is going to be our very own. Our very own Ogre Pond comes out here. And honestly, let's just go for Follow Me here. Try to waste out these these turns. Let's just go for Follow Me, because you could be going for Ivy Cudgel. End up just withdrawing here. I'm hoping you're going for Ivy Cudgel. Let's see how this one plays. It's either Horn Leech or Ivy Cudgel. And I'm scared. I'm hoping I'm hoping Sidey Cudgel. Horn Leech. Damage pretty good. He gets back some free HP. Man, that spore might be doing us dirty if we don't wake up right now. We need to wake up ASAP. ASAP. So from here, I'm just gonna go for Spike and Shield. I believe you're gonna be attacking him. And I'm just gonna go for Break and Swipe. There's no way you go for Ivy Cudgel this turn. There's just no shot after seeing me go for follow me. There's just no shot. There's no shot. If they do, I'll give them props. I'll give them props because that probably just wins them the game. But I need to wake up here and I need to drop this Breaking Swipe. Because Breaking Swipe will, one, pick up the KO onto Iron Jugulus. And two, it will drop Ogre Pond's attack even more. So Spiky Shield is going to fly out here from our Ogre Pond. I think they're wondering what they should do here. And I'll probably still go for a Follow Me next turn. Let's be honest here. Because if they see me not go for Follow Me this turn, then they would just... Assume that I'm not going to go for it again. But I just I would just hope Gouging Fire has a one turn sleep. Two turns at most. We need two turns at most. A three turn sleep, we lose this game, no problem. But they're thinking. They're thinking of what I'm doing. They're thinking. They're taking they're taking their sweet old time. Their sweet old time here. Spiky Shield gonna fly. Pop it out for the boy. And they're gonna end up going for a snarl. Okay. A snarl on two physical attackers. I don't mind. I don't mind. An Ivy Cudgel. No shot. I give you props. I have to give you props. You just pulled that off. You just pulled that off. Wow. Great call on their end. I can't do anything about it. Can I win this match somehow? Probably not. Chances are no. Very slim chances. I mean, I'm just going to have to Horn Leech and just start recovering HP here. But, yeah, this is not looking good. Snarl's actually doing a massive amount of damage. A bit too much. Horn Leech going to fly. You're outspeeding. Yeah, there's no chance here. 
There's no chance. Again, just props to our opponent for going for that IV because of there. I'm super surprised at that. Super surprised. I just get a crit. That's some damage. We're hitting hard with that. We're hitting hard with that. But Snarl, again, you just outspeeding me. I gotta run here. That's game. That's game. So one and one so far. Let's go hop to a third. Look for that two one winning record. Moving on to our final match, and we got ourselves a big time snow team. Kiram, alongside with Reggie Ice. Alone nine tails, and they got Snowscape probably on the Tornadus. Let's be honest here. And then they got Chiyu and uh Iron Bundle. So this one's gonna be tough considering we have no weather control. So trying to think of ways that we can just start getting after it. I mean, Bulldoze weakness policy, so Leo. Not bad, and I think I'm gonna end up doing that. Just because Bulldoze can just slow down. It's gonna be really nice. It's gonna be super, super nice. So I'm gonna go into both of them there. I do like that. And then in the back end, dealing with ice type Pokemon, kind of tough. Gouging Fire could be solid. And I think we just go Fluttermane. Old Reliable. Old Reliable Fluttermane. I like it a lot. So they could lead Tornadus. I mean, at that point, we could just get a free turn of Bulldoze off and then start trying to waste out Tailwind, which could be good. But Kiram is a problem. You guys see my video with Kiram, or I should say, if you guys see my video with Kiram in the snow, it's insane. I mean, you could snow Terra or ice Terra, I should say, and just do massive damage with Blizzard. And on top of that, you get a nice little bulkiness boost. Now that snow has been uh, buffed in Generation 9. They're going to end up leading the Kiram here. Um, I think we just try to attack it, right? I mean, you can go Tailwind. You can go... You can go Tailwind. You can go uh, Blizzard here. Or you can just go Snowscape, which I would think would probably be your first play. I'm going to go Blizzard and... Uh, do I go Rock Slide? I think we just go Rock Slide here instead of Sun Seal Strike. Because one, we could have a flinch chance, which would be awesome. We'd love a good old flinch chance. And two, super effective on the both. Should do massive damage, especially with weakness policy. That's my play. <clears throat> that is my play. If they end up just start Blizzard spamming, I can always Thrash Slice into water, which is really solid. Really solid. Maybe I should have went for a Sun Seal Strike just to try to just KO Kieran right here. But I think getting rid of it is massive. But they might just end up terrestrializing, so Rock Slide could just be good all around. Could be great. And yeah, they're just going to end up terrestrializing. So good thing I didn't go for the Sun Seal Strike. Out comes the Terra. Unless this is just ice for damage output. No, it's fire, which is great. Which is great because we're still super effective with Rock Slide. So a fire Terra pops out from this Kiram. We love it. Are you snowscaping? Yes, you are. I was going to say, you're either snowscaping or tailwind. He's going to pop the snow. You could have Terra Blast. You could have Terra Blast, but Bulldoze is actually going to make us go first, which is great. Which is great. So we're going to slow down the Kiram a little bit. Just a tad bit. We're going to pop our weakness policy, which is great. So there we go. There we go. Weakness policy popped. Get those boosts all day. We get the speed drop. And so Galeo, pick up a nice little flinch or KO. Either or. Both KO. I love you. So no Tailwind. No Tailwind able to get out here. They did get the snow, but we pick up a massive double KO with weakness policy, so Galeo. Wow, that damage. Awesome. We love it. We love that damage. We love that damage. I wasn't expecting the double KO, but yeah, this Pokemon with weakness policy, absolute threat. Just look how buff our lion is. Look at his legs. Dude does not skip leg day. Look at that. His calves are bumping. He's got back muscles popping. Sokaleo does not skip the gym. No shot. No shot he does. Look at him. His arms are huge. <laughs> Plays no games. Plays no games. Of course he's picking up the double KO. Now comes our final two Pokemon. First one's going to be Chiyu. Um, now's a great time for us to water Terra. They don't have Terra either. And Iron Bundle. Do we think he goes for a free try into this slot? Could be a little bit of a threat. But I'm going to go into here instead of protecting. I'm going to Terrasalize Water. And I'm just going to go for Rock Side. Rock Side's ripping. It is ripping right now. It's super effective onto all four of their Pokemon. And these Pokemon are lightweight. So if we're picking up double KOs onto them, or the last two Pokemon, these two Pokemon stand no chance. But we just gotta have fingers crossed that no Freeze Shrine is popping through here, right? That would be the main problem. Freeze Shrine would just be a big time problem. But Thunderbolt is just gonna put you down on the one HP. Can we get a Para? Can we get a Paralyze? No, Heat Wave Flying. Sandy Shock soaking, Sogaleo soaking. He's gonna end up going for Blizzard, which is huge. Better than Freeze Dry. So all I need to do is land this Rock Slide in that game set match. That's all we have to do. Simple. It's simple. It's simple, Sogaleo. It's simple. It's real simple. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 
Going to beat the game. Another double KO from Sogaleo. Pick it up all four KOs in match number three. And more importantly, we grab ourselves a 2-1 winning record. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, Solgaleo rocking out in Regulation G. Back in the Sword and Shield days, this Pokemon was amazing with Weakness Policy and Dynamax. Now this Pokemon's going to be amazing with Terra and Weakness Policy. Cannot go wrong with that. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.